Hey, what's going on guys? This is Will with the Wangzilla channel and uh, doing a little work on the Beastzilla by NV3500 here. And uh, just doing an oil change on this video. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward like most cars. I uh, went with some AMS oil, uh, 0W20. And I will also be using the Wix 57356 XP. Uh, they were out of the AMS oil filters, out of stock, I guess with the supply chain issue. So I went with this one. They actually recommend this version without the XP. They were out of stock because that, that as well. So I got the XP one. I guess this is a better filter than the non XP version. So I guess it works out. And uh, you're going to need 6.9 quarts of this. I actually end up buying eight quarts just so I'd have some extra. I like to run a little bit extra through uh, just to kind of clear out everything. And uh, just uh, was always good to have a little bit extra if I need to top off at any point. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be 25 foot pounds on the oil pan plug. And uh, I have the car up on my race ramps, as you can see right here. I only have it about halfway up. I am on a decline driveway, so I kind of wanted to keep it relatively level um, for putting the oil out in and draining the oil out and whatnot. So I put it about halfway up the ramps. I chalk the front and back of the rear tire so it wouldn't roll. And I tried to get it up on the end part of the race ramp, but with this weird decline, it was, yeah, it was looking kind of uh, sus. So, so I put it about halfway up the ramp instead. Uh, so yeah, we'll swing over. I'll get the hood popped up. We'll take a look, um, you know, what, where everything's located at for anybody who has not done the oil change on the Nissan NV3500 with the 5.6 liter. Um, I know they had changed it up a little bit, I believe for 2019. Uh, 2018 and below was slightly different. 2019 and up are, should be the same. So very simple, typical oil filter underneath the car and uh, of course the fill on the top. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get over to the front of the car and we'll uh, dive into it. Here is the engine bay of the NV3500, 5.6 liter. Here is your oil fill. And I like to always just kind of loosen this up before I do an oil change and uh, make sure you have a nice uh, funnel for when you add oil. And we'll go ahead and get underneath. And right here is the oil pan and then the oil drain plug. I believe it is a 14 millimeter. Closer here. Yes, 14 millimeter on the plug. And of course, you want to make sure you have a pan underneath. And if you have one of these pans that actually have a reservoir inside of it, make sure you do have the vent cap open and then the uh, drain plug removed. Otherwise, this top part will fill up and then you'll spill it all over the place, which I may or may not have done numerous times in the past. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this camera situated so we can uh, get this drain plug removed and I can get this oil drained out. And I've already loosened this up a little bit and I have a probably a 0% chance of not getting any oil on me. But I did put some gloves on and I'm hoping I can catch everything in the drain pan here. All right. Ugh. <laughs> and they do say you're supposed to replace the washer. I'm going to clean this uh, plug off in the washer and just inspect it. I think it'll be fine being re uh, reused. Uh, but just definitely look at it. Make sure it's not like a pinch or have any cracks or anything like that. If it does, then you will want to replace it for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and pour in some leftover 0W20, and you should see it come out relatively clear in comparison uh, once I put that through.
and you can see the Zero W20 coming through. It's a little bit clear, still not super clean, but definitely uh, much better than what was already in there. Um, I think I have something like 5,000 miles on this oil, so nothing crazy. All right, everything is fully drained out. And I will go ahead and tighten this up. This out of the way. Only 25 foot pound. And I have my digital torque wrench here. All right, one thing um, I didn't mention yet is the oil filter to get to it, which is tucked back there. You need to remove this shield here, plastic shield. I'm gonna go ahead and get some sockets for that. Uh, I'm not sure what size these are, maybe 10s or 12s or something like that. I'll let you know when I get back and then we'll remove this and then we'll get this oil filter replaced. And these are 12 millimeter. Go ahead and remove all of these, just make sure you them off, and then we'll come back here with, with this off. All right, the shield is off. I believe it was seven 12 millimeter um, little bolts here. And of course, they have this place kind of an idiotic area. So if you open this up, it pours, it does kind of channel here. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this oil filter off. You can see here, I loosen up the oil filter and it kind of goes down this little ramp, which is kind of nice. Most places don't even include that and it'll just dump everywhere. So it kind of channels it, though it's still not perfect. I did have to use an oil filter wrench to loosen it up. I'll let it drain a little bit more and then I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and swap in the new one. And the filter is off and it is draining down there. Of course, this little channel isn't perfect, so it is getting kind of on a few other places. I'm gonna let this leak down for about five minutes, uh, wipe everything up, and then get the uh, Wix XP replacement filter in place, and then we'll start adding some oil. All right, I added just a little layer of oil to the uh, rubber gasket here, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed, and then I'll finish wiping everything up. Time to put this uh, plastic shield back on. Everything filters in hand tight installed. Kind of wiped everything down so now of course the one clean place on my undercar is where i wiped up the oil from so seven bolts to get this thing back up here um and then we'll go on top and get that oil added oil filters on drain plugs on uh the lower plastic guard is back on and i'm gonna go ahead and add my 6.9 quarts so uh, yeah i'll go ahead and just add these in here I have a locking oil funnel in place, so it should be pretty easy. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and add these, and then uh, we'll come back here just to go a quick overview, uh, make sure nothing's leaking, and then we'll have to reset the oil, uh, change oil indicator on the gauge cluster. All right, I have the 6.9 uh, quarts, and then of course you wanna check your oil level here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And you want to make sure it kind of falls between these little dots. It's kind of hard to read because there is oil uh, in the uh, dipstick tube, but it looks like there is up in there uh, between those two circles. So should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and get the oil fill cap on, and then we're going to go ahead and get in the car and reset the oil indicator in the gauge cluster and just double check for some mini leaks underneath the car once I start it up. And 
And we'll seal it up. This is a pretty crap, crappy uh, oil cap on this thing. I don't see anything leaking yet. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean up my tools and stuff, start the car up, and then uh, let's double check for any leaks once it's running. Back in the car, and as you can see, here are my reminder indicators for the oil and then also for the oil filter. We're gonna go ahead and reset those. So to do that, you want the car actually to be starting off in the off position, and then you're gonna want to turn the ignition on, but not the car on. Go ahead and you want to press the info button, which is button down here, and you're gonna to want to rotate it until you get to your settings. Push the button in again. You're gonna hold it down to reset like that. All right, so if you hold it down, you'll see zero slash 5,000. That's uh, what you want. And I'm gonna ahead and do the tire rotation because 5,000 mile tire rotation, I'm not doing that. And then we can go to exit. And we can go ahead and start the car up and the As you can see, no longer do we have a notification here telling me that I need to change my oil or my oil filter. So it looks like I did about 5,600 miles since my last oil change, which isn't too bad with uh, synthetic, but I try to keep between 3,500 and 5,000. So that'll be my plan for going forward. Go ahead and hop out of the car, get this thing off of the ramps, and then we'll close this out. And that wraps it up for the uh, NV3500 uh, oil change. Pretty simple, uh, pretty basic, uh, you know, standard type deal, other than making sure you reset those gauge cluster uh, notifications. Otherwise, they will be annoying you for the next 5,000 or so miles. And uh, yeah, next up, I'll be doing the rear differential. I have some AMS oil fluid for that, so stay tuned for that video. And then as far as oil changes and stuff go, I'll be doing my wife's Echo Boost, which isn't here right now, but typically parks behind my Exploder. And then, uh, of course, more videos on my ZL1. And uh, now I have my Quick Jack. I'm going to put that together, so there'll be a video on that as well. And uh, a lot more content for that, gaming and tech. So uh, stay, along, stay along for the ride, if I can even say that right. And as always, uh, peace.